Where did this show come from? Probably gonna say this right now. With some confidence, with my chest out. This might be the best of this season. Undead Unluck is surprisingly really good. Only two episodes in, I'm already hooked. So here's the thing. We have one of the main characters named uh, Izumo, and she is the unluck portion of the title. Her ability is pretty much, it gives you bad luck by physical touch. So if you physically touch her body, bare hands and all, or other means of touching her, you get a bad luck fall on your day. And depending on what type of physical touch it is, the stronger the unluck that it is. The greatest example of this is that uh, she ended up kissing a guy named Andy. Andy's the other main character in the show, right? Uh, once that happened, a meteorite came through. Straight up Madara, that boy Andy. But the thing is, Andy wants that. Andy wants to die. He's Kaido, basically. I love the kind of woman that will actually just kill me. Damn, I really hope some hot chick paints my brains all over some fucking hallway. And here we are. Because he's the undead portion of the title. He can't die. So he wants to die, but he's trying to find a way. And he found somebody that can uh, pretty much inflict enough pain to him. So they're like two peas in a pod. Uh, Izumo wants somebody that she can actually physically touch and this and that and the other because she could never really do that. She found out about her ability after her parents gave her a kiss on the cheek and all that stuff and they're about to go fly away. Boom, explosion! So she lost her parents. And ever since then, she always wanted her like a romance where she can actually be physically there for it. So with all that said and done, this show's actually very sus. I know it sounds all wholesome and everything, but it's, this is sus. Andy out here freaking groping on this chick. Like, what is going on here? I don't like being sus with him no more. And doing other means to, like, get more bad luck. Because, again, like I said, that kiss brought a meteorite. So Andy, in his mind, is like, wait, if that can happen just based off of that, if we just, you know, side to throw down just a little bit, I mean, like, what gonna happen then? You know what I'm saying? Like, let go. Fortunately, Andy didn't do all that. And also, Yuzumo ends up kind of, like, setting up this whole situation where actually i need to be in love if, I, if i'm in love right and then we have these like actions happen at that point then it's time then and only then where the most bad luck of all time will come through and so with all that now said andy was like you know what bet i'm gonna make you fall in love with me and it's weirdly enough in episode two like it's already working like he was out here trying to be very heroic and honestly he was already like falling for this man so with all that characterization out of the way with the main characters ultimately what is the premise of this show at the moment here is trying to get izumo into this organization. This organization that's actually trying to take her out. Funny how that works. A guy named Shin, which has like the baby face, but he has like this massive body of like Goldberg. It's, it's really weird. But one of his crew members died. And so they need to free up some other spots. And so if there's another spot open, Shin's like, you know what? If you can kill somebody else within this organization, I will give you a good word to actually join us. Okay, like, look, let's go. So it's just such an interesting premise how the whole show starts out. The characters are very just out there, but I can't deny how entertaining the show actually is, despite all the sussy baka action that goes on here. So I must say for the first two episodes of Undead Unluck, this is a banger already certified and definitely something worth watching if you are not already watching the show this season. And the little icing on the cake that I want to just throw in there, just one more thing, one more thing. Okay, maybe two actually. David Productions is the ones that's actually animating this. The same people that did JoJo Bizarre Adventures? Yes. And for some reason, we have Queen Bee with the opening. Huh? Queen Bee was the one that did Oshinoko's ending song, Mephesto. Come on now. So it was already like locked in, but the show's actually good too. So look, I'm telling you, I recommend it. Go ahead and watch it if you haven't. Uh, if you did, please in the comment section below, tell me what y'all think about the first few episodes of Undead and Unluck. Like, dislike, do what you gotta do, and I will catch you guys in the next one. This is my first impressions of the show, and until then, people, break out. Oh. God dang it. One night with me, and I'll make you a squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Squirtle, squirt! <laughs> Squirtle! No! No, stop it! Stop it! Squirtle! Bad. <laughs>